They treated me like I knew everything about motherhood, even though I was a mom for two Your days. Your day two. <laughs> Sometimes I have to remind Ozzy, I grew you in my belly, Ozzy. Like, you like me more than daddy, right? Yeah. When I look up and realize I, that all the nurses are not helping me, they're helping They're running Derek. to him. She's like, do you want me to take pictures of Ozzy like, coming out? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of curious do? about that. So she actually saw, saw birth. We should have got a doctor on here. She's cut like, the Lauren, cord. did you want to cut the cord? I was like, yes. <laughs> Hey, it's Sarah and Lo Beeston, your Fairly Odd Sisters. Woo! Woo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Fairly Odd Sisters podcast, you guys. We're back in our in our dark home of yes. Lauren's office. My office. <laughs> I love it. We our last episode we had our friends Matt and Abby on, and it was such a treat to Such have treat. them here um and it was really fun so we're back to just me and Lo chit-chatting it up yep we have a good topic for today we're talking about birth we're talking about pregnancies if you don't know this by now we are both moms mm -hmm. so we we each have two kids lauren headed up the uh pregnancy first pregnancy at least yeah the, the matriarch of the <laughs> Of the, the first group. mama. <laughs> no, but of our friend group, weren't yeah. you the first? Well, Maddie Mealy was first, okay, but she yes. didn't give birth in, in Hawaii. Hawaii. So no, I was the, the first. first that everyone got to see in yes. action. Which honestly is a huge deal because I think I watched most of our friends, almost all of our friends go through having their first kids and the birthing experience before I even got pregnant. Yeah. So I got to see that. I got to see that it was okay, but you were going in just first one. You were the yeah. tester. It was so wild. I remember like, I, I've i been an aunt since I was 10 years old. And so a newborn wasn't new to me, but it was so fun to see everyone else. Like obviously my own newborn was new to me, but like <laughs> holding a newborn is what I mean. It wasn't new to me to hold like a tiny baby, but to see everyone else hold a newborn for the very first time was so sweet and special and everyone was so kind. And I remember the girls coming over to the house right when we got home from the hospital and everyone's just like looking at me, asking me questions because a lot of them were pregnant, like mm -hmm. about to give birth for the first time as well. And they're just like, you know, every they treated me like I knew everything about motherhood, even though I was a mom for two <laughs> Your days. Your day two? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know anything. No, but, but they were knew. all looking at me like, wow, look at you breastfeeding and whoa, what do you yeah. do for this? Well, it really is kind of pretty much you're thrown into a new world. Yeah. But you just figure it out. Like, yeah. You well, don't need somebody telling you it. It's just like you yeah. naturally kind of figure it out. Yeah. And I think that's comforting for a lot of people to hear because a, a ton of people in our DMs are asking us, give us tips. Mm -hmm. I'm pregnant with this. And it's just comforting to know that sometimes you just don't know and you just do it. Yes. You know? So yeah, today is all about that. We get so many questions asking about our pregnancies, what birth mm -hmm. was like. Um, and it it's fun for people to hear that have gone through birth and pregnancy. And it's fun for people that are expecting or just even if that's way in the future. So we're going to be doing that. We both are intertwined with these, which is so fun mm -hmm. because when I look back about well, maybe we should talk about you first because you went through it first. Okay. So let's talk about you finding out you're pregnant. Oh my gosh. And were you trying? People are wondering that too. Yeah. So I want to be sensitive to the fact that I know it can be such a difficult process to try for a baby and mm -hmm. it can take so long and that's normal. And a lot of people go through that. Um, in our case, I was expecting it to take a year because mm -hmm. people kind of tell you prepare yourself for mm -hmm. around a year. Yeah. Um, so that's just kind of what I thought. And Tanner and I, Tanner had just graduated college. I thought this is the perfect time to start trying. We have, mm -hmm. it'll maybe take a year. Mm -hmm. And so we both had decided, we, we actually had a scare a couple months prior that made us be like, okay, we actually did want that to be oh, positive. So like, you were sad. Yes. I took a test and it kind of looked like there could be a line. So for a few hours, I thought I was pregnant Aww. in January. And I looked at Tanner, I was like, this is a little sooner than we thought, but like yeah. got excited and then took another test and it was negative. And I was like, okay, that means like we both were bummed. Yeah. And we both kind of realized 
we do want to get pregnant. And so, well, yeah, that's a good yeah. telling thing. If we, you're not if you're shocked kind of, or scared or yeah, hoping we were, it's not we going like, to happen. Okay. We were shocked, but we were stoked. And then we were bummed when it wasn't mm-hmm. real. Yeah. And so that's when we realized, like, okay, all right, let's get ready. on it. Let's go. I think, <laughs> I think we're ready for this. So then a few months later we started trying and it was actually, I think it was like the second month that we tried that yeah. we got pregnant with Ozzy. And so it was a shock that it happened so quickly, so quickly. And we had friends, um, we had friends that had been trying for longer mm-hmm. than that. So I could see why you would think it would take longer. Yeah. Some that have had miscarriages mm-hmm. and some that took close to a year. Yes. So and it pregnancy, makes sense in your head why you were oh expecting for longer. Yes. And pregnancy in general just blows my mind. Like every mm-hmm. baby that is born is such a miracle. Mm-hmm. And I just can't even wrap my brain yeah, around how, it. Just the biology. <laughs> like, I, we could do what? an entire episode on how you actually get pregnant. It's insane. The, I remember being on my apps, like, and they would tell me how far along yeah. or how big your baby is. And in the first weeks when it's a tiny little lentil, I remember being like, <laughs> lentil. wait, my well, baby's a lentil in my so belly. They, they're like, like a mustard seed. Yes, like a mustard seed, like you tiny little see. dots. And I'm just like, how and is that somehow a baby that forms into, into a literally person. Ozzy? Like <laughs> Ozzy is almost five. With, I'm like, how did how did I how does and that boop? happen? No, how I does don't that happen know. To a, it is actually a miracle when you think about it. And then that's where I came from. Like you just that actually. <laughs> I'm spiraling. We I'm were, spiraling. We don't go down that hole. <laughs> we were actually in our mom's bellies. Yeah. <laughs> and their like, mom and their mom and their mom. That's weird. Like, sometimes I have to remind Ozzy, I grew you in my belly, Ozzy. Like, you like me more than daddy, right? Yeah. Just no, kidding, Jack. Jack. <laughs> <laughs> but I do say like, Ozzy, you love me, right? You I were in my belly. My belly. <laughs> that is a special bond though. Jack yeah. asked me the other day. Will I ever have a baby in my belly? And I just That's had to so let him cute. down real yeah. easy and say, "No, it's just for girls." He said, "So Sunny will have a baby in her belly." I said, "That yeah. is so weird." Yeah. Isn't that weird of- that he can process that? And he's also three? random fact that I found out that weirds me out. Well, I mean, we should know this, but your your babies, like Ozzy, has her eggs already. Already, when she was a baby, like Sunny she grew them, them and she's when I was pregnant with her. And she already has like her children. The mustard seed I had just, the eggs. <laughs> so the mustard seed it's had kind of an eggs. Egg. I don't yeah. know. Kind, like, kind, kind of an egg. Kind of an egg. But I just thought that was wild. I'm like a wild thought. Wait, does the mustard seed have the eggs? I don't know when they get their eggs in the development. I just know they process. always have, have it when they're they, born. Yeah, I know that they have them by the time they're born. We should have got a doctor on here. I don't know. We can. Sure we, we don't need to go to <laughs> anyway. The, all the details, all but the it degrees. is wild it's when you think weird. about it. Like okay. pregnancy's weird. So you so, yeah. find out you're pregnant. Mm-hmm. Obviously, it's I, soon. You're feeling so grateful and yes, and I'm living in that little house that we both have lived in. Fun fact and, about that: yeah. so many of our friends and us including me found out we were pregnant in that apartment yeah it's cool. a magic apartment i like to magical say. bathroom we actually Both called times it i found out i was pregnant i was in that bathroom mm-hmm. because the first time i was living there second time i took a test when sarah mm-hmm. wait no, no I, was, I didn't no, you didn't <gasps> no i took a test at heather's house uh-huh. and then came over yep. there to tell you yeah that's where i told Tim. i had just you had jack i had just had jack and i was taking a picture of you Oh, and I screamed. People probably <laughs> wrecked me for that. No, no, you were but just like oh. I no, I screamed, and Jack was little, and it he was like, and he already hates loud. I think yeah, a normal baby like would have been fine, noises. but he's already so sensitive to noises. Yeah, I told Sarah to like lay down. I was gonna take a picture of her and Jack, and I was like, "Hey, say Lauren's pregnant," and she was like. I was also <laughs> so sleep deprived. Yeah. I I truly was so shocked. I screamed, hurt Jack's ears maybe, and then but. It I was, was so, so excited. It was so crazy. Yeah. And you knew before Tanner did because we were waiting for them to oh get home. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I forgot about so that. So Tanner okay, yes. found out in the same spot both times. I didn't mm-hmm. take the pregnancy test there though. Yeah. So rewind. How was Tanner's reaction? Oh my gosh. When for Ozzy, when it was Ozzy, it was our first. It, I took the test and I didn't film when I took the test and I found out. I just didn't really think it was going to be positive. I was taking it like four days before my period. So mm-hmm. it's kind of early yeah, to take a test. Early. And I was just too curious to not do it. So I took the test. When I saw that, I'm not kidding. My heart just like dropped and I was exhuming heat and like so excited. I needed to tell Hot him flashes. like 
<laughs> I had to tell Tanner right then. Yeah. I could not wait. I don't know how people wait when I, <laughs> so I got my thoughts together and I was like, I'm just going to film Tanner walking in here. So I flipped over the little pregnancy test. I didn't tell him that I was taking the test. So he had no idea mm-hmm. that I had even taken a test. And I was like, Tanner, come here for a second. And he, when he saw it, he just lost his mind. Like we both were just crying so happy. So happy. And then I remember about an hour after that kind of weird, that, um, what's that mm-hmm. word? Mm-hmm. Exhilaration. Anticipation. Adrenaline. Adrenaline. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> after that adre- adrenaline rush kind of sunk away, we kind of looked at each other and we were like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. Yeah. Whoa. We're yeah. going to be parents. And yeah. then we didn't really know what to do the rest of the day. We were like, do we work? <laughs> Like, do we celebrate? Do we go to dinner? Do like, we- <laughs> what do we do now? It felt like I couldn't work that day. It mm-hmm. felt very out of body. It's, it's all consuming, mm-hmm. I think. It's like, what, if, what are we going to do for the next nine months? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my know. gosh, such such good times. And the funny thing about mine, I'm kind of the same as Lo. I just did not think I was going to be yes. pregnant. And both times with finding out I was pregnant, Lo told me to take a test. And she both was- times I actually said there's no way no you truly didn't think I you're pregnant. truly I was like Sarah you're literally late <laughs> and um, I was always late I was always she's like I, I'm four days late and I'm just like why don't we just take a test <laughs> that's the difference between the why two of us don't we just take Lo a test? always takes it so early yes, and four she days thinks early. that like it could happen yeah. and then there's me four days late thinking there's a zero percent chance literally both times <laughs> i was like sorry we're getting a test and forcing yes. her to get a test yes so mine was in the same house that lo is talking about same bathroom <laughs> i'm peeing in a cup i pee all over my hands first of all do you remember that yes you didn't know how to do it <laughs> i didn't no one told me that you could just pee in the cup and put the stick in yeah so i'm like or no, did I just pee all over my hands? Why is this such a blur? I don't know. But all I know did. is there was pee all over my hands. I when, don't know how I did it. You saw the test. Oh, no, you were I still didn't pants have a cup. down. That's why. You didn't even give me a cup. <laughs> the best part of everything. You had been through this. The I needed your The best part of everything is your pants were down. Oh, you yeah. were sitting on the toilet when you found out. I was filming you. Yes. And you were still sitting on the toilet when you found out that you were pregnant. You yeah. just kept sitting there so I couldn't even get pants a video down. of it because my <laughs> pants were just or did we get a video I, my I pants think, were down I filmed it right I don't remember. yeah but I don't think I posted it anywhere yeah, because obviously pants my pants were down. were down but it's a fun experience but I had pee- yes my pants were down pee all over my hands I didn't well get you a, didn't think you were pregnant I don't think you were really I taking wasn't, it serious I was not take both times yeah well I was taking it serious the second time just because first experience I was dead wrong yeah. so but yeah, you didn't give me a cup and that's your fault. So. <laughs> I was just trying to get you to take that test. I, I held the I stick do. underneath and just peed all over I did over that my... the first time I did it too, though. <laughs> Maybe that's why you're... Because like... I was like, you just pee on Lois, it. Lois, we already know this. She's a much more skilled peer than I am. <laughs> Anywhere we go, she's like, I the can just pee cups, out of the car. Yeah. Roll the window down. I'm <laughs> just kidding. I could pee anywhere. <laughs> she can. To be honest. Um... Anyway, so I was in complete shock. Lo and I are screaming. That video. Tanner so was sweet. out. Tanner was outside filming. With Ozzie. He was like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, and like he heard us screaming. So yeah. Tanner gets super excited. Yes. Um, Derek was at school. Yeah, he was at school. So we were waiting for him, oh, and then he was on a phone call for he, ten hours. We see him at the end of the driveway, and I am just sitting there, knowing I'm going to my tell heart is him. pounding. Yeah, both of us heart pounding, and he's just sitting at the end of the driveway on a phone call that is a 20 minute phone call it lasted forever and we were watching him out the window he's pacing he finally gets up to the top of the stairs we're like he's coming he's coming goes back stays on the freaking phone Mm -hmm. and then keeps going up and down the stairs and we're like get off the freaking phone yes he doesn't even know that his life is about About to to get flipped upside down we're all dying of anticipation yes (laughs) so tanner and lo are hiding in their room yeah I was like and Derek filming walks from a in crack. the door and he immediately kind of knows because I am acting so weird, <laughs> so nervous, so I just whirlwind and Derek's reaction was so funny. Just was... pure shock. I remember watching Years and Tanner's thinking, "Oh, they're so happy." And, you know, yeah. and Derek and I were trying. So we we wanted this yes. to happen. <laughs> but Derek was was sent to another dimension well i think too you guys had been around all of us Mm -hmm. the giving birth process the Mm -hmm. having the kids so you kind of knew yeah 
the other end of it, yes. not just the excited part. Yes, you know? like we you, did. We had seen the, seen the whole the thing, the struggles, the struggles, the, the pregnancies, birth, the, the birth, everything, newborn life, yes. losing sleep. Yes. And Derek is just a shocked guy in general yeah. with little things. Yeah. So this just rocked his world. I thought he was going to rip his hair out. Yeah. His hands. He couldn't even head. hug me. It, it was, he's happy, but it was more just complete it was shock. Complete shock. And yeah, I, I was so could excited. Put a little though. screenshot of his hands in the hair and just yeah and didn't leave. it was fun that tanner and lowe were there though yeah that then was they so came fun. out of their room we could all celebrate. celebrate and then we just all look at each other what do we do yeah what do we do now just, what do you, what do, you do? do the rest of the day there's so that weird. awkwardness um <laughs> my second time finding out was also with Lo. we were on a girl's trip to la yes and we were with our friends maddie and Britt. also mm -hmm. this was honestly such a special memory such a fun trip i it's so fun um and again, low, we got Sarah's very like, yeah, lucky. So anyway, I'm four days late. Okay. All right. We're going to get a yes. test. Yes. I think <laughs> in my head, I was thinking, so in between my pregnancy with Jack and Sunny, I got diagnosed with endometriosis mm. and it's basically just a disease that, um, scar tissue right yeah scar tissue and all over your, all this stuff just grows on the on, on your, your uterine lining and your ovaries and it's not supposed to be there it's really painful and I didn't know that I had it but I on an ultrasound that I took after having Jack they noticed that there was a huge mass and you could see it on the ultrasound mm -hmm. and I thought it was just a cyst and so did my my doctor and I went in and I was having extreme pain. I was like once a month on the ground in the shower, fetal position, having the hot water on me, thinking my appendix was bursting. Like having to go to the ER. Having, I went to the pain. ER twice. It, it was just so bad and I knew that it wasn't normal. Like and period to take you out. Yes. And so <laughs> the only thing that me and, and my doctor were thinking was, oh, it's got to be this cyst that's, that we can Bugging see on here. And neither of us knew... But she said, you know what, let's just go in, let's take it out. And so I went in for that surgery and she said the second that she cut or she went inside, I think it was, I don't know if she cut, she went through my belly button. I don't know. I got <laughs> scars. Yeah. I don't know. Got a little scars. I got some, some three scars over here, but the second she cut in, she just said it was like an outpouring of blood. She, she knew exactly what it was. She knew I had endometriosis. So it actually was an assist. It was just a big Mass. endometrioma that was on my ovary yeah which is scary so but she scary. she was able she wasn't able to clean it out fully because technically she wasn't in there to do that it wasn't a surgery scheduled to for that for that so she took out as much as she could and um but yeah she she gave me a big rundown on what endometriosis was because I honestly I had heard it mm -hmm. passed around but I didn't really know um, but then everything started making sense. My periods, everything from when I was young, um, up until now. And she told me that a lot of people struggle with getting pregnant and having kids. So from that point, I felt super lucky that we, we had already had Jack Yes, because a lot of people with this can't get pregnant and struggle. Mm -hmm. Um, and my timeline for this was my doctor was going to give me the okay to start trying for Sunny after I think it was six to eight weeks after the surgery because mm -hmm. we wanted a baby but then we had this whole thing and I had to heal bottom line of this when I got pregnant with Sunny I was not thinking there was a chance yeah you we, would have been nervous about the endo yeah mm -hmm. and we and she told me that mine was a pretty bad it was stage four um in that and stage five is like really really bad anyway so yeah I was just not thinking it was even possible and I feel super grateful like low to have both of my kids with this um because I know a lot of people that have this can't get pregnant so that's always kind of in the back of my head and I just didn't want to get my hopes up yeah. either because I knew that I had this going on mm -hmm. so low on the trip kept saying just take the test I was like, we pulled into this really sketchy cvs yeah it was honestly the scariest cvs i've ever been in yeah it's not like p2 we just were in and out and we're in, in we California. beelined for the test yes got on out of there yeah i got a few of them because yeah. i again did not think that i was going to be pregnant yeah we went back to the hotel 
we had all the girls. They were waiting outside. I filmed it. Yeah, we were like, okay, we're going to give you your space just in case yeah, yeah. because we don't want to all be in there. Uh huh. Let you, if it's a yes, if it's a no. Yeah. And then we came in for you to tell us. Yes. And it was like, it makes me want to cry thinking about it because it was so fun to have the girls there and I was pregnant and I was so shocked. I was like, okay, you guys can come in now. Yeah. And we, I didn't know because you didn't really make a noise. And so we were just like, what is it? What is it? What is it? it?" (laughs) Yeah. And then they all came in and I got to have it on camera and we were, everyone was so happy. Low cried. I I literally started bawling. I'm like, no freaking way. It was so fun to find out with the girls. I obviously telling your husband and that experience is fun, but it was something so special about girlhood and they had all had their second. So uh-huh. it was kind of, I was the caboose on yep. the end of the train. Yeah. Bringing uh, in the seconds. And then I waited till we got home to tell Derek. Yes, so that is wild that you had to yeah. wait that long. And so you're texting I just him. Knew, How do we text normal without? Yes, <laughs> It was on that same girl's trip. We went to dinner that night and it was so funny because they were wanting to cart us at, at oh the, the restaurant that we went to because they thought we were, Young. high school kids on spring break yeah <laughs> we're I'm like, just finding out i'm pregnant with my son i know we all have two kids, all have two kids. Uh, she's over. when we told him that we had two kids he lost his shiz yes he did like you guys are way too young for that i'm like well we grew up in utah yeah <laughs> just kidding, well no, if you knew all of us. if you knew a little state called utah no. you would know. yeah you wouldn't be shocked yeah anyway both super fun um now i want to talk about your pregnancy so Do you like being pregnant? How was the first time being pregnant? Oh my gosh. What was your experience like? Um, Oh my gosh. Okay, so with Ozzy, I honestly was a little sad during Ozzy's pregnancy. I kind Mm -hmm. of lost my, in the first trimester especially, I lost my sense of humor almost, Mm -hmm. which is everything to me. Like Mm -hmm. being fun is my, I love it. And I had to go to bed early. Like I just didn't feel good all the time. And then I was a little bit sad because my doctor had told me that I couldn't do the workouts that I had been doing, Mm -hmm. which is kind of a myth as well, which I didn't know at the Mm -hmm. time. And so I wasn't working out like I used to. I felt sick all the time and it was just this new thing. And so I think in the first trimester with Ozzy was a little bit of a struggle. Second trimester was better, but I don't love being pregnant in general, I know some people love it Mm -hmm. and they just thrive. They thrive. And I don't have anything terrible to say about it. It's just not the most comfortable thing. (laughs) It's It's really not, especially towards the end. Yeah. And the third trimester, you just kind of, I got very swollen. Mm -hmm. Like my ankles were, I couldn't even get my shoes on. Yeah. It was, there are so many side effects to pregnancy so many weird things can happen to you and you just chalk it up to I'm pregnant. I'm yeah. a baby. Yes. Like your the, feet swelling. The weird one that I didn't know about was getting the random leg cramps in the oh, middle of yeah. the night. Mm-hmm. I would get calf cramps mm-hmm. where I would wake up screaming like Tanner, my, my calf, yes. rub my calf. Yes. Cause I couldn't like reach it. I'm so yeah. huge. And then yeah. he would have to like rub my ankle or my foot. Yep. You get like cramps. cramps. Did you get those? I got Pregnancy head cramps. Cramp. Migraines. <laughs> you got migraines. <laughs> really bad migraines yeah. through my whole That's really pregnancy. Bad. But, and I feel like it's okay to say, because when we're saying the hard things about pregnancy, we are still 100% grateful that we have the gift of being pregnant. Yes. Like a thousand times yeah, we take that. Because I think even on social media, sometimes putting it out there when I was pregnant saying, oh, this is really hard for me. I have migraines. And so many people would fire back and say, well, you should just be grateful that you're pregnant. And obviously we are so grateful that we're pregnant. We're just talking about the real stuff that is hard about pregnancy. Yeah, they can both exist. Like we are so grateful. And you're allowed to have bad days. And it's also can be really challenging to be pregnant. So I think they can both exist in the same. So when we're just, as we're throwing out maybe some of the negatives, just take it as obviously we wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Anything. Um, but yeah, I also know there's way harder pregnancies than I went through. Yes. That, yeah. You know, like they have to be hospitalized and yeah. whatever. I think going into my pregnancy, I was terrified that that was going to be a thing because my mom with every single pregnancy was deathly ill. Yeah. She would lose weight when she gave birth. She was 95 pounds. Uh, she had to sleep on the floor with a mattress just next to the toilet because she could not eat anything. She 
just deathly ill. I and can't. she went through a lot of miscarriages. So in my head, thinking this is the experience you I'm seeing that. from my mom, mm-hmm. I was... I had a level of fear when I got pregnant yeah. because I just didn't know what to expect. And that yeah. was, people say it can be genetic. I don't know if that's true, but yeah. But as you're going through this, you're overall, you're net good. positive. Net me. positive. <laughs> and you but do have very good pregnancies. Yes, I will, I say. will say. And also I and was she pregnant. looks hot. No, you do. I will say my friends look very good pregnant, including Sarah and it is just beyond me how they look so good. But um, <laughs> no, so my favorite part about being pregnant with Oz was that I was going through these pregnancies with two of my yes. best friends. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't feel as isolated and alone. Whereas mm-hmm. if I was the only one pregnant, nobody else had been mm-hmm. pregnant yet. I would yeah. have felt so alone yeah. and isolated, but we were able to talk about things we were going through together and leg cramps your yes anything things, like going sleeping. pee in the middle of the night for a few, three mm-hmm. times or whatever it mm-hmm. was and so that was really nice to yeah. have friends go through it yeah with. it is so nice to have people in the same stage as you yes for me I when all of the friends were getting pregnant I didn't feel ready at the time because I know it would have been really fun to yeah. be pregnant with all of you and I think people always assume that that was like a sore spot for me but it was actually so nice to be pregnant and have this circle of friends that knew exactly what they had been through it Mm -hmm. I could ask any questions that I wanted and my friend Heather was pregnant with me so it ended up being great but I didn't feel the need to get pregnant right when all of you did even though it would have been so fun yeah and yeah so it was nice in that way Mm -hmm. I think my favorite trimester is definitely the second oh 100% just you're not so large and in charge Mm -hmm. but you're still showing you still get to show off your bum energy levels feel way better than Mm -hmm. the first trimester you don't have the like uncomfortability Mm -hmm. of the large yeah everything I would say how at least for both of my pregnancies the first trimester I felt the most sick Mm. and just tired run down um second trimester favorite best yes third you are just so big and uncomfortable i think there's a purpose for that so there that is, you're so ready that you're to ready. give birth it you is. don't care mm-hmm. you're not scared for birth you're just like get By this baby end, out of me get the baby i'm out. ready to go yes. like i just want my body yes. to be only mine now <laughs> that's on purpose yes yeah i feel like that is yeah. definitely on purpose yep just anyway. preparing you for that <laughs> prepare, no, to, get, it, prepare honestly, to get big <laughs> yeah just big and ready you know what just makes ready. me laugh too is I think everyone does this with their first pregnancy. They think at 15 to 20 weeks that they're big. Yeah. I did that same thing. I said, look at my belly. It's huge. And then, then you don't realize how big you inside. actually get. <laughs> and at the end, you're like, oh, all right. Okay. This is well, what big means. <laughs> yes. I remember taking my like 20 week pictures and I was like, my bump. It's so cute. Yes. And then I was like at my 39, yes. I was just like, get I'm not, yes. I was not huge back yeah. then. <laughs> so would you say that your pregnancy was better with Ozzy or Stella? I would say Stella's was better because I was um, able to talk to more, get other doctors' opinions. And I worked out my entire mm-hmm. pregnancy with Stella. My, it was all about your my mindset. mindset. As long, I was staying in my normal routines with mm-hmm. Stella. I Whereas, think that's important for women. Yes, with Ozzy, I got in that like, weird blues Mm -hmm. situation because all of a sudden I didn't have my workout every day. All of a sudden, like all these things weren't the same. Yeah. And with Stella, I knew what to expect. I'm like, your belly's going to grow and you can still work out every day. And so it wasn't as much of a shock. So my mindset was so much better. It felt way easier. Yeah. And I would say that's a huge piece of advice that we could give to moms that are pregnant Don't let it stop your hobby. If you could just do anything that gets you moving, even if it's not a hardcore workout, just go on walks every day, just get outside because it is such a hard time mentally when your whole body's changing. You realize your world is going to change. There's so many things that can get you psyched out like, or bluesy, I guess bluesy, Bluesy. (laughs) I don't know, but you know what I mean? I think if I have any little piece of advice while we're talking about it it's to just try and do things that you still did before you were pregnant and keep it going throughout the pregnancy because you're gonna go up and down you're gonna have body dysmorphia you're gonna see all these changes and 
your boobs are gonna get bigger. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's Honestly, talk about I was your like, boobs. Whoa, I got a boob job. <laughs> you want to talk about your boobs? Her boobs were so pregnant, so big. Yeah, I went from a B to a double D, if not more. I don't know how this the sizes is- go, but I couldn't believe the size of my. This my was boobs. the most shocking thing. Me watching our friends because a lot of our friends have kind of small boobs. Yeah. And then watching them double some triple in size was shocking Literally for me. My boobs up to my chin, just like <laughs> breastfeeding Aussie. And they were so high I because remember. they were perky still. <laughs> so great. And like they grew. And my mom, I remember my mom walking in and saying like, Whoa. you look like Dolly Parton. Oh like my gosh. they just were up to my neck and I was just, it's yeah. so funny yeah. to think on that. Do you miss us? You know what? It made me realize I don't want massive boobs. It's yeah. harder to live life with Been huge there, boobs. <laughs> Same. It really is. And like working, I love working out and mm-hmm. it was harder to work oh. out. It got in the way. I think that's why I never did a real push up until I was in college. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I can, I can definitely tell you now I don't really want huge yeah. boobs. Yeah. For but those of you that, that don't know, I had a breast reduction. That's why I'm saying it. I'm not saying, oh, my C's are keeping yeah. me down. No, yeah. I had a breast reduction. But yeah, it is not fun it's to hard. feel like that is it's a lot who you of are. It kind of takes on like that's who you are. <laughs> your boobs. You are your boobs. You so. are your boobs. But it's hard to fit into things. It's yeah. hard to exercise. There's, yeah, it really was different. You know, and if they're real... They're so heavy. People don't yeah. get it. A boob well, job getting them big is milk. different. I don't know if that's the same, milk. but mine... Probably heavier. They just felt uncomfortable. Very. But honestly, yeah, it was kind of fun though for a little bit. I was like, oh. Yeah. A little, little, so, little boob job for a little bit. Oh my gosh. Well, I do have to say my pregnancy with Jack was way better than with Sunny. With mm. Sunny, I was at my wits end mm-hmm. by the third trimester. I had, um, <laughs> this is too much info. I had really bad varicose veins down there <laughs> in that region. <laughs> down there. Down there in the region. Down here. Oh, you guys. In your no-no I, no square. I, yes. Mm-hmm. No, no, no square? I don't know. Yeah. That no, no square down there. Yeah. It's not a square. But I don't yeah. know. They just, you know, that saying, yeah. hey, don't touch me there. This is my no, no square. Oh, um, so, so by, square. so by the end of my pregnancy with Sunny, well, since second trimester, I had to wear a belly band every day to keep my belly lifted because it hurt. Just walking hurt, getting from A to B hurt. Just my back, everything was just, I'd wake up Explain in pain. Explain the pain that you were feeling down there with the oh. varicose veins the most achy is it like, like heavy weight heavy weight sitting on there achy Oof. um walking hurt it's just the best way to describe it it felt like you were getting yes. crushed if i could hold my belly up it was like a teeny bit of relief for a second so i would just tighten mm. up my belly band yeah every day and <laughs> the belly band <laughs> goes under my legs through <laughs> up to my cheeks and it, you remember, I know you do. <laughs> Everyone would take pictures of me because it was so funny. When you were walking around with it on the outside of your pants. With my baggy pajamas. Yes. It, it's not my finest, it finest really time. Good, but but you needed so it. so much pain. And I will just tell you, because I don't not, I don't hate being pregnant. I actually am fine. Yeah. yeah. My first trimester, I throw up a lot. So that's kind of just not fun. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have to constantly be eating. I get really sick if I don't eat. But I would say with Jack, it was pretty pleasant compared to most people, even though I was puking first trimester. Sunny, I just could not. Yeah. I could not. I just wanted her to come out it, by second trimester, which made that last long. trimester a long haul with the belly band mm-hmm. but it saved my life and i will say that the second i gave birth no pressure i felt a million times better which was nice Crazy. because i felt like i relief. had my body back and relief and i could walk it was a different kind of pain but it wasn't that pain that i had been in yeah yeah it's uncomfortable i think my biggest pains well stella's pregnancy i was a breeze compared to just the mm-hmm. mental state mm-hmm. that i was in with ozzy but I think mine is just in my lower back. It just yes. feels like it's mm-hmm. broken. Mm-hmm. And so the second, and I also get a McRib, I call it. McRib. My rib. McChicken the rib McRib. pain that I get <laughs> is just the second we go into second trimester, if I'm sitting like this, mm-hmm. 
the ribs just are bruised yeah. it feels like and yeah. so the second you give birth it's it's so nice to yes. feel that relief of yes Whew. all your organs can breathe again yeah including your mcrib yeah your mcrib yes <laughs> So something cool about Lo and I is we both got to see one of each other's births. Yeah. Which blew my mind. I yeah. gotta say, holy cow, from me going to like From nothing, not giving birth, not no seeing exposure, a birth. Nothing. Nothing. Literally nothing. And I wasn't like Lo. I knew nothing about babies. I didn't have any nieces and nephews. I didn't have younger siblings. Yeah. I didn't even babysit. I was just thrown into this world yes. and I'm like she's like do you want me to take pictures of Ozzy like, coming out and I was like yeah <laughs> I'm kind of curious do. about that so she actually saw, saw birth saw it I saw from start and to finish what was the best part of this is then when all the friends friends came to see Ozzy like visited me in the in in the hospital everyone wanted to see the play-by-play so every I single one photos. of our friends you had snapped I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't want to miss the miracle. Photos. Yes. Like there was literally thousands and thousands of photos of just me and her my bee. down there. Boom. I took some of her face birth. too. It's not like she just yeah. has. But it's just funny because all the friends were sitting there on the couch as I'm holding Ozzy. Yes. Like just scrolling. Just scrolling like, whoa. Whoa. Watching this because they knew they were going to do They're that They're about soon. to go through it. And so oh. it was wild. Yeah. The fact that you, did that scare you to give birth watching it, that? It did and it didn't. Surprisingly, I felt pretty calm. Mm-hmm. You, you had really good nurses, which yeah. I think was a huge help. Mm-hmm. There were a few scary moments though. Do you want to talk about that with Ozzy? Yeah, definitely. Ozzy's birth was a little bit traumatic for me. Um, because when we got in there, they had mentioned that the cord was around her neck, but that's pretty typical in most cases. It's usually around the neck. It's, it sounds very scary, but mm-hmm. I think it's pretty typical. Um, so I wasn't too nervous cause they'd said that was normal. But then as the day progressed I had my water broke with Ozzy so I got there in the night and it was already almost night again before I started pushing again so it was a whole day um and towards the end every time I would have a contraction her heart rate Ozzy's heart rate would drop like all the way and then the nurse would come running in she'd be hitting the buttons all of a sudden all these nurses would be in there they're kind of moving me around Mm -hmm. and it was so scary they would put me on oxygen yeah Um, just because the, one of the nurses that I had, the first one, um, just made me feel really nervous because she was nervous. Mm -hmm. And so I definitely had moments of like tears and just wanting to get Ozzy out so that she could breathe, breathe. I was just so scared and I didn't sleep at all because Mm -hmm. I was nervous that if I slept, my heart would drop and then her heart rate would drop. I was just stressed. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, the anticipation of giving birth to Ozzy was really scary for me because I just was so scared mm-hmm. that, you know, I remember it dropping. being because Derek and I didn't know anything about mm-hmm. birth either. So we got there right when it started and yeah. we were there all, all night, day. all day <laughs> with you guys. Yeah. Seeing the whole thing in my naive head. I was like, okay, we're going. We're going. She's giving birth. But it's like a long I thought it process. was going to be that way, too. I'm like, my water broke. Boom. I'm going to yeah. give birth in a few hours. Yeah. No, and no. it. it most of the time with first birth is you're in for the long haul. Yes. And so, yeah, it was pretty traumatic for yeah. that. Um, and then once I started pushing, I pushed for about 45 minutes. Which is pretty awesome. 50 minutes. But it yeah. felt like hours. Yes. <laughs> because it's just so exhausting. Yeah. Well, and, and your think, body's never done it before. Mm-hmm. So and the just... week the week leading up to Ozzy getting born, I didn't sleep. Because I was trying to give her birth to her the whole, every single day, walking yes. 10 miles, straight up walking 10 miles, yes. going to the hospital, getting my membrane yes. stripped. I was doing everything I could. I remember everything. you wanted her out. You I just, was ready. Yes. Yeah. And so the I- The ball, you the bounced ex- on the ball. Yes. Forever. The exhaustion that I felt, and because I didn't sleep any of the process of being in the hospital, I was so exhausted. It mm-hmm. felt- so exhausting to push Mm -hmm. but when she came out I have never been happier it was just like oh that was such a sweet moment everyone was crying yeah I'm crying maybe not Derek Derek wasn't in the room yet oh yeah Derek wasn't there because he sat outside just for the birth birth part part. oh yeah (laughs) Derek's Derek's crying (laughs) Derek's like go oh help me can you imagine that can you imagine him 
Derek he passes pass out. out. He, yeah, he almost no, passed out yours. No, yeah. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. No, Derek he was, was not. there through. That's why like, there were no tears because yes. I was crying, Tanner was crying, and Lo was crying. Yeah, and but, he was there through the process. The, the process, like, and then he But left. then he left when it was time yes. to push. Thank goodness for yeah. that. Yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> I didn't want he would have never wanted me to be pregnant. <laughs> he would have never wanted to see me again, I fear. <laughs> would have been a little dramatic. A little dramatic. Um, no, so yeah, pushing, got her out. Mm-hmm. And then it was just so amazing to finally have her there. Yep. It was so wild to see her face. Mm-hmm. Like that's what was inside of me this whole time yes. was her little perfect yeah. face. And and it's it's crazy how you instantly feel connected yes and this overwhelming love for this tiny little thing that just needs you yes and that was a crazy thing too because through being pregnant with ozzy a lot of people talk about i feel so connected Mm -hmm. to my baby but i didn't necessarily ever feel that i didn't pregnant and i was always nervous about that while i was Mm -hmm. growing her i'm like why don't i feel more like wondering why do all these moms feel so connected while they're pregnant and then the second she was in my arms Mm -hmm. that flooded through my body yeah. it was like i always knew but it wasn't yeah. there yet yeah. you know yeah and so it was special it was a very special moment for yeah. sure and tanner was crying and it was yeah. so sweet and you could just tell how much you guys came together and just loved this little little girl that you Tiny made baby together Aussie. oh with black hair there that was shocking black too. hair that was so shocking well when you were pushing and i saw yeah I everyone's like, like her hair it's black <laughs> 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 her hair is black. I mean, we've had uh, we've had some shocking hair things with yes, our babies. Yeah. I don't know. Same with Sunny. I didn't know that she was my baby. I thought they mixed her up at the hospital. Literally, <laughs> did this and baby then come Stella out of me? Is the exact opposite hair color. I don't yeah, know it, I it is it. so weird, but such a cool experience. And I was so happy I got to be there for that. I know that was so. And nice. in a weird way, it like it didn't scare me. Good. Which, I think Derry would have been out. Yeah, Derry would have. Like, yeah. Can't do. Yeah. And then it was so fun. All the friends got to come and yeah. see the baby after. It was pre COVID. So you could have as many yes. visitors as you wanted. Yes. yes mine was, was nice. not. Yeah. That was, that was a bummer that about was peak. mine. But yeah. Yeah. I, I wanted to have Lo in my birth with Jack, mm-hmm. but it was peak COVID time. And it was so funny because I got pregnant and I kept telling my friends, oh, we're not, I'm not going to be able to have you guys in. And they were all thinking I was crazy. We're like, oh, it's it's going to be a month over by then. It'll be a few weeks. And then they told us that they're like two weeks of quarantine. Yes. (laughs) Yes. And my whole pregnancy and it got closer and closer. And then I realized, oh, like I'm not going to be able to have people in there. Mm -hmm. Hawaii had a rule where at one point they weren't even, were they not letting the husbands in or was was mine the strictest? If they tested positive, oh, okay, they yeah. go. Which, that kind of makes sense. Yeah. But, um, so I wasn't able to have a video, like a videographer or a photographer or anyone taking photos. It was just me and Derek, which, mm-hmm. looking back, kind of, kind of cool kind of experience. Special. Yeah, it was just us and the nurses. And my birth experience was also very traumatizing, the first one, because I went in and I wanted to get an epidural and they gave me the epidural and mine didn't work for some reason. And I was so panicked about that because I didn't have another plan. I didn't do the breathing exercises. I didn't know anything about birth. My one saving grace was that I was going to have an epidural and maybe it wasn't going to hurt as bad. (laughs) And so when I started saying, okay, am I supposed to be able to feel this and that? I can feel my legs. I can feel nothing's numb. I'm still feeling contractions. Yeah. And I and it's getting closer and closer to the time where I am going to actually give birth. Yeah. And, <laughs> and you're freaking out. <laughs> I am kind of, yeah. And Wasn't I, it like a half of your body? Or yeah, was that? it was like even like, I wouldn't even say half, it's spots. Yeah. Where I'm like, okay, Random like maybe spots. right here is numb. This, oh I feel gosh. everything. This, I feel everything. And when I could feel contractions and have to like, breathe through it yeah but not being prepared for that that was my and I was trying to just stay calm the whole time Derek and the nurses said I was very level-headed but I think inside I was freaking out but trying to be a good patient trying to just listen to what they had to say I kind of put it all in their hands honestly I wish I had studied more about (laughs) just the birthing process before this and so when it came time to push I felt everything and Oh my gosh, the pain, 
the pain. I it got to the point where the nurses were kind of worried about me because my pelvic bone is tilted kind of funny and my doctor said okay so basically she was saying he should be out by now but oh. he keeps hitting my pelvic bone how long were he you pushing get, it was like over an hour a little over an hour which but i was pushing you guys with all mm. my might mm-hmm. i they thought i was gonna pass out so they had to so tell like me to, to stop because my face was this shade of purple <laughs> <laughs> I'm only laughing. No, it is. Because I felt that same way. Yes. Looking at my photos, I had to get the rag. Do you remember? Yes, I said, rag get me a wet rag. Head. I'm literally going to pass out. Yes. And and we both have faces that just get very red when we but, work out. <laughs> and I remember going in and out, just kind of blacking oh. out while I was pushing. And I remember thinking in my head, if I have to push one more time, I'm going to black out. I can't do this. Mm-mm. And and then thoughts were going through my head of, oh, am I going to need a C-section after this? Because he's just hitting my pelvic bone. He won't come out. I didn't know what to do. And he finally came out. I pushed so hard, thought I was going to die. Yeah. And then um, I felt everything. So just in that sense, when they were stitching me up too, I felt every stitch. I felt the needle. I felt l- literally so every gnarly. part of it. Uh-uh. I knew exactly what was happening. And I'm just kind of in this shock Mm-hmm. because I so much pain numb, so much pain where I was just handling it but my body was in a state of shock almost. can I just say too when you're pushing and everyone when I was pushing with Ozzy everyone was like she's almost out like her head is That's almost out so hard. for 30 minutes I'm yes. hearing that and yes. I'm like if somebody tells me one more one time. more time yeah that she's I'm yeah almost it's there. almost like you just it, need the encouraging you can do yes, this you, you can got do this. this until it's because actually I believed there. in the beginning I was like oh okay I'm like literally almost there so yeah. then when you had to keep pushing and yeah. pushing and pushing you're like they're freaking liars. They're like, lying they're, to me. It's I'm not taking close. so long. <laughs> yeah. Did so. they do that to you when you were mm-hmm. pushing? Mm-hmm. Were they like, you're they're almost like, there. You're almost and then it wouldn't be that. And I'm like, mm. you can't say that to me. You can't say that. No, yeah. but that, yeah. So I was traumatized. My second birth was a million times yeah. better. I think we can both agree on that. Oh yeah. Which gives, give you guys a little hope. It, I, and, and not all first birth experiences are bad. Our no. friends, some of our friends Gave birth. Easy peasy. Easy peasy and said, I want to do that again while they're in the hospital. That's what I said with Stella. Yeah. yeah. That's how much better. And, and yes. so, yeah, sometimes first births are, they're not all like this. Yeah. <laughs> so don't be scared. Yes. But it it's crazy because how stark different mm-hmm. my two were. Yes. Because after Ozzy, I remember looking at you and saying, I never want to do that yeah. again. Yeah. I, I remember feeling so bad for maddie and Britt coming to the hospital because they were still so pregnant and randy and, and all of them i in my head i didn't say this out loud but in my head i was just like oh they Get have ready. to do yeah. what i just did yeah and i don't ever want to do that again even though i knew yeah. i wanted more kids yeah i just in the, that time i was like i can't do that again yeah. and some of them had amazing experiences yeah. which is so funny yeah it's just so different it's and so it's different. different but you forget every time you forget I wasn't That's even like, scared for Stella's birth, which oh, is crazy. I, scared. I wasn't scared I was so at all. Scared. But then after I had the best experience ever yeah. with her, I was like, I literally want to do that again. Yeah. And, and that's so good to go off of that for, if you have another one, just not being scared of that yes. part of it, yeah. which again, it is just different for every person. Every time, every time someone gives birth, it's different. Yeah. It'll be a different experience, but yeah. I I will say that one of my favorite memories with Lo is having her in my birth for that for was Sunny. So fun, for and me. it was so fun because I we weren't allowed to have anyone for my first, and no I felt one could, so special that I could be the one. Yeah, and no, <laughs> well, and no one else was could even visit me in the hospital. Yeah, because of yeah the restrictions. <clears throat> so we just did it all, and I couldn't have visitors, which I think is a super fun yeah. part of that. And I just missed out on that whole part of it with. Jack, but with Sunny Lo got to be there and we were just kicking it. We were Literally. laughing. I, my epidural worked that time. Mm-hmm. I, and I, the difference of the epidural working versus it not working. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We just cracked up. We had tears. Like <laughs> we just, I just laughing. <laughs> oh Can I talk gosh. about yes, the, Okay. <laughs> when I we're having the best time ever. Honestly, my one of my all time favorite memories with Derek and Sarah because it was just it was just a party. I couldn't believe I was felt so lucky that I could be there, and I was so excited. <laughs> it was such a party. Sarah was in such good spirits, and 
finally getting to give birth you were yes. so over it Get and this baby literally so over it and so and it was an induction so it was an induction it's so nice you it just was went i just in, went you in had there. breakfast i you're chilling yeah no i had a great time yes so nice yes and so when when um i was filming it and i wanted to get a sentimental video for oh. sunny to watch later on <gasps> and so the fact that she's going to look back and this is what it is haunts me i'm dying oh. and so i go over to sarah and i'm like sarah is there anything you would like to say to sunny before you give birth she's still in my belly <laughs> it's her dang fault and she goes sarah looks up at me and she goes oh sunny and then the biggest fart i've ever heard her do <laughs> and sarah's face is like <gasps> And I we, didn't even know I was doing it, you she guys. She didn't know she was farting because she had, had no idea. She was completely numb. And so she didn't know she was f- going to fart right then. And it was the timing of it. I kid you not. I've had, that was the hardest laugh tag I've ever had. I was so it, prepared to say something nice. And it was goes, just, oh, The sunny. way my voice cracked <laughs> to, oh, sunny. <laughs> just, it was like you were about to start crying. Like, yeah, it was going to be good. And then <laughs> Your body just boofed. We still cried. <laughs> boofed. We still cried. The, we still did. I think that almost sent me into a, a strong form of labor from laughing so hard. I think you gave birth an hour it was later. Shortly after that, it was and my after. water broke. After that, I think, <laughs> I think that that laugh attack sent you it into triggered. giving it, birth. It triggered it for sure. And I was at one point going, "Okay, I need to calm my body." No, literally, down. I had to like fully get it out of my system because i was like i'm going to cause yeah. stress right now <laughs> i need to reel it in because it is really hard for me to stop a laugh attack once it started well and we're both just tears 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 crying right. laughing just and honestly <laughs> i feel like that was just kind of the theme for my whole birth it was we everything need to was insert funny. that clip anything that you want to say before she's here It's so funny because that was just the vibe the whole birth, which I know some people's births are not like that. We've had friends where they're really scary. They're in a lot of pain. I felt very grateful that we were just listening to music, laughing, crying, laughing. And then it was just shortly after that where I just looked at you and said, so short, get the doctor. She's coming. She's coming. You were grabbing onto the side. I was like, like, it's, she's coming. It's happening. It's happening. (laughs) And then it was like a few pushes and she came out. Yes. I did tear again. I tore both times, but that time wasn't as bad. Yeah. Terrible. But, and, um, all good. And then right after she's out, you know, you guys are enjoying it. I'm filming it. All of a sudden Derek looks like he's going to, Oh my God literally go to a different planet he is gonna go when i look up and realize that all the nurses after i'm getting stitched up are not helping me they're helping they're running to him (laughs) because they all saw it's smart that they know to look because i didn't realize until the nurses started running to him and And then then i saw him like whoa he was wobbly he He was wobbling his face was completely white i honestly was you know how i have a fear of barf yeah i thought he was gonna hurl can you imagine if lo and derek are just in the corner barfing oh my gosh and so that was my <laughs> i thought it was a barf face but it was a pass out yeah face. he was he was getting wobbly they had to sit him they down. had to lay they him put down a towel on his head yep and this is all happening like right after she came right out after, seconds yeah. we're talking seconds like it before the cord is cut before anything doctor rushes over the cord has to be cut and Derek is getting fanned. And, and I'm like, do I, I don't know if I should film Derek yeah, right now. What do I, what do I Did do? you want that documented? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Luckily, Lo and I had the same doctor going yeah. through both of our births. So she asked Lauren, she's like, the Lauren, cord. did you want to cut the cord? I was like, yes, <laughs> I wanted to, but I also didn't want to make Derek feel bad. But oh, I think if I, he had cut the cord, that would have sent him over. That would have sent him over the edge, gone. He, he was, falls over. He was in, like, Dr. Song, I was like, yes, but it, what? And she was like, Derek can't do it. So do you want to do it? And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> so, I was like, Sarah, is that okay? <laughs> yes. So low cut the cord. And I literally cut the for cord. life, you guys. And I'm holding the camera as I'm cutting the cord because I'm, like, still filming. It was all so fast. I was just like, um, yes. And so I'm literally. <laughs> Holding the camera and I'm just like, cut, cut, cut. cut. I couldn't fun? believe it. Was that fun it was, cut the cord? It was interesting. Gummy. It was, was gummy. gummy. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it didn't gross me out. I was just like, 
Yeah. You just have to kind of just do a few yeah, little. Like, I thought it was going to be more kind of one and done, but it was kind of like, oh, oh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so not the good i don't think Derek could have lasted i don't in that think he situation. could did he cut jacks he did jacks but it made him it sent him a it little sent him into the dimension That's let's just call it his dimension it's interesting that he didn't go to dimension with jack with how much pain you were in and all i that. think because he knew he was my only support yeah i think he really went into a state of i he, have to be i here. have to be here for her because she doesn't know any of these people yeah besides <laughs> me <laughs> yeah so now you've heard about our birthing experiences yeah we had some people ask us some questions about all of this. And Lo, we're just going to read some of those, give some advice, answer these questions of what we think. And remember, these a lot of these are just our opinions. Yeah, they're our opinions. Everybody's or different. Or our experience. Like, Take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Everyone's going to have different, different experiences. Yes. For sure. Okay, so. so this one says, was the epidural painful? I know it's a catheter that's in your back the whole time. Okay, when you say it like that, I, don't like I didn't that. even know that. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, <laughs> weird that we you do have a catheter too. Yeah, you have both. When you have that. So you basically you get two. Weird. Okay, um, what do you I, think? Okay, I was really nervous about it because everyone talks about the size of the needle and all this stuff. I did not give a shiz. In the, I was so over feeling the contractions, but by the time they were putting the, epidural, the in, epidural, I didn't even feel, I was just like, yes. I don't care what the pain, it didn't even feel painful to me because I was so excited to not have to feel contractions anymore. Yeah. That, yeah. um, it didn't feel painful to me. Yeah. What you, and it was, I didn't even think about it the rest of the time. Yeah. Like I didn't feel it. Yeah. I think, so for me, it was really painful the first time when it didn't Getting work, it Weird. which is so nuts. The and whole then, time you could feel it. Yes. And oh. I had that pain. I think they, it might've just been done wrong because oh, no. that pain lasted with me for a year after oh I gave my birth, gosh. like in my back, I couldn't sit back on a chair without feeling where the epidural went in. So no way. not to scare people because that really does not happen. Like hardly ever. And then with Sunny didn't hurt and I didn't have that pain after and, so and it worked. So yeah. I wonder it, if it was the wrong spot yes, or something. And I Ooh, think scary. it's way less likely to happen that you feel it and it hurts because with Sunny, I was so scared of that happening yeah. again, but it was so great. Yeah. I, I it's like a little pinch, you know, it's, it's so like a little funny. pressure pinch. It's not too bad. Um, did you get stretch marks? If so, how to heal them? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can we talk about stretch marks for a second? Yeah. Okay. And I don't want to get heat for this, but I will say you can do everything right mm -hmm. and still get stretch marks it is so genetic it is the most genetic thing and i'm that is an opinion i feel very strongly on i yeah. think especially i can say you don't get i get pretty large and in charge when i get pregnant yes. but you're you don't even get that big and you still my got stretch, stretch marks, marks are gnarly they're just thick and big so and here's the thing is i was so worried about it because i I had seen all these videos of do this to prevent stretch mm -hmm. marks. And there's so Put many things out there. Put this cream on. Put this cream. I Drink a lot of water. When I tell you the first pregnancy, I did every single one of those. Mm, me too. Religiously. Because I did not want to get stretch marks, which is so dumb to yeah. like not want that. Um, but I did everything. And so it was even more hurtful when I had these big, massive stretch marks. And I saw them everywhere. And I... It was hard, honestly. Was, I, I honestly, had a few little breakdowns of like, Derek, I'm doing everything. I'm not, I'm eating the right amount. I'm putting on the oil day mm -hmm. and night. I'm yeah. wearing sunscreen. I'm doing, drinking so much water. I did everything and you, you just can't. What was weird for it. me was I didn't get very many during my pregnancy with Ozzy. Like I got a little bit around my belly button, mm -hmm. but what I didn't expect was after giving birth is when I got most of my yeah. stretch marks yeah. because you, like, my boobs, think you're in the clear, I thought it was in the clear. And then all of a sudden it was like, my boobs grew 50 sizes bigger. Mm -hmm. And so my boobs got stretch marks. And then it was like, my thighs got stretch marks mm -hmm. when they were shrinking back down, I think, or yeah. something. Yeah. And then uh, that's when I had noticed more stretch marks, mm -hmm. which was an interesting thing. Yeah. But like Sarah said, I was doing the creams. I was doing, drinking so much water, mm -hmm. trying to watch what I ate. Yeah. And it just happens. It just happens. And, and not to everyone. Not to everybody. We have friends that don't, that don't have a any. single one. Mm -hmm. I, I really do think it's just the makeup of your skin. If yeah. that makes sense. Like my mom 
is tiny. She's 5'1", and she, so her bellies would really stretch out there because there's just nowhere for her to go. She's a little tiny torso, yeah. and she's just fun size. Yeah. And she didn't get one stretch mark, not on her boobs, on her stomach, on her legs, nowhere. It's crazy. Not one. But and, and I am just covered in them, so... And, and then just, along those lines, like how to heal them, there's, they you can just try the creams. They you do get try. better with mm-hmm. time. Like they look less mm-hmm. purpley and stuff. Yeah. After Mine are still time. Pretty purple, but I know I have heard that if you go in, you can get them zapped, but once it hits the six month mark, they're called, um, what is it? They're mature kind of they're oh, called mature. mature so they kind of stay so if you're really really worried about it then i've heard you can go in before six months postpartum and zap them and i don't know i've never heard of anyone actually doing it or if it's successful or not but i know you can do that yeah but i, I mean i tried creams too i, I just, just don't know i think they're just them, there but they're just there for they're me just too. there what was the but other is, part that of was that? just like it. how you deal with it how or? you heal from it um, so i think that they just heal but they're still there and they just look we still got them, you guys. Still got them, They're baby. still there. But honestly, the more people... I like this kind of shift in mindset about stretch marks. Yeah. A lot more people are talking about them and in, a, in a positive to have way. Them. It's and normal. Your body is going to change a little bit. Your skin's yeah. going to change a little bit. And like, you okay. have to have something when you're... This baby's growing inside of you. It's so And it's so pretty normal. cool that we got to grow a couple kids. Exactly. So. And it's just kind of shifting your mindset about being grateful for them versus like this is, worried about them. Okay. The this time. is something that we've kind of talked about too, is were you, weren't you in the car when we were saying how it's funny that we get so embarrassed about zits yes. when it's just this little like yes. thing on our face that we don't have control over. It just yes. pops up and there's a white head and we're so embarrassed, uh-huh. but it's like everyone gets a zit yes. and it, we just kind of, if we just normalize people are going to get stretch marks and it's okay and it's normal, get then it's going to be normal. Marks. Like yes. we don't have to feel so embarrassed yes. about it. Which is why, yeah, I, I totally agree why I appreciate people talking about it more. Yeah. You realize you're not alone. Mm-hmm. Like you think people are perfect and don't get these things, but you do it. And honestly, some people get them worse than others and it's just, it's just, just the way it is. is. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, yeah. Okay. Um, do you want to answer other baby names that you've had? That you, I have a list. That you um, won't be using? Or can we talk about, uh, did Jack have any other option? Uh, but are you going to use it? Use the other option that you were yeah, thinking of for Jack? Probably. Okay, if I have a boy, yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I could give some names that I don't, that I like, that I don't think, think I'll, that you'll I'll use. be using. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Okay, so I feel like every girl that is married has a list on their phone of names, baby yeah. names, that we like. So these are a few that I don't think I'll be using. Maybe we will. I don't know. I really like Elena Cute. and Sage. Millie. Wait, Vampire Diaries, Elena? Is that With where you got a, that? With though. Oh, I like, cute. But cute. I, I do think that... Yes, I love Vampire Diaries, and I think that name probably stuck with me. Um, oh my gosh, I actually still love this one. I wonder if we'll ever use it, but I love the name Danny for a girl. That's so cute. D-A-N-I. That's really cute. Um, I don't know. Ava, Mila, boys. Boys are so much harder. Can I just yeah, they say are. that? Here, you you give a few of your, okay. your girls. few of my girls. I feel like I have a million girl names. And no boy names, but, um, okay. I really love Willow, Ruby, um, Zoe, Pippa's cute. Um, Luna. I liked Davy. Cute. (laughs) Um, Quinn, Blake. Those are are all all cute. Those are all cute. I feel like there's so many girl names that you can do. Honestly, why is it so much easier? Why? Why? Because I think that you can really use a lot of boy names for girls, yeah. but the same isn't really, yeah. you can't really do a lot of girl names for boys. Yeah. Well, it's just not as common. Uh-huh. So it's a little bit yeah. harder. I, for a boy, my list, I have a list, but I'm looking at my list and not loving the boy names. I know. Boy this names. is every single time so I look at my boy list. I don't even know. A boy name I like that I don't think we'll use is Will. Mm. I really like that. I just think it's a good Strong name. Strong name. Yeah. But that's cute. Oh, I know why we weren't going to use Will. No, because oh. we have a Jack. Will and Jack. Jack Sparrow and Will Turner. 
Oh, I think but that's, that's why we oh, weren't gonna do why. that because their whole life. <laughs> it just, but that's I really, really do like that. That's name. a good name. Anyway, um, I don't even know what ones I can share. Okay, let me see. Yeah, because you. I, so nah. Um, I actually don't think I can share any of these, because what if I use one? Yeah, don't do it. Okay, one second. Leave it a surprise. Well, I can't use this one because it's too much like Ozzy, but I really like Ollie. Oh, that is cute. Ollie's cute. Ollie. And Zeke. That's cute, Zeke. too. Yeah, I can't share any of the other ones because it's like I only have so many to choose from. Yeah, no, you, don't, <laughs> you don't need to share. We'll, but, we'll leave it up to, to surprise Okay, us. let me find one more good one. Do we want it to? Oh, this is a good one. What cravings did you have? Oh. Oh, man. <laughs> With Ozzy, if I didn't have... Oh, I had Subway almost every single day, but it wasn't just that. It, it almost was, became a, icky because it you was. Sm- started to smell like Subway. I did you smell like Subway all the time because I was always sub- there. I was in Subway. <laughs> I basically was a Subway like worker because I was just there. They just knew her order. They knew me. They still know me for all I <laughs> They probably still do. Remember that pregnant lady that used to come in and order the same? Remember that girl? And it was actually Tanner would go in for me. Oh, yeah. So they knew him too. Yes. Because of my sandwich order. Yes. Um, that was with Ozzy and that Stella. was with Ozzy and Stella, but mostly Ozzy. But my craving with Ozzy that was next level that sometimes I would have to literally make Tanner pull off pull over. I got to go in the store and get this right now was um, not flaming hot Cheetos. What was it? Jalapeno jalapeno Cheetos. Yeah, so I remember I used to pick I would pick some. Yes. Of those up. Every time I was at the store for you, I'd bring them jalapeno Cheetos jalapeno are insane that craving or just you asking tanner every day can you go get me some jalapeno cheese i need the jalapeno gas station. the funniest part was i the second i gave birth to ozzy the thought of a jalapeno cheeto made me want to hurl no but you did eat a whole bag of goldfish yeah goldfish delicious yes the thought because i think yeah. friends brought jalapeno cheetos because they knew i loved yes. them i didn't touch them it's so i didn't weird. even touch them the second ozzy i gave wanted birth, them it, wasn't it was you. ozzy and then the funniest part was when Ozzy was like a year old, she tried one of the jalapeno Cheetos and she loved it. Oh, and that's a thing that it's a, spicy. Kid, a kid would usually not like. Yeah, that's a spicy chip. Anyway, so that's kind of a funny little that tidbit. Is, that is actually really I don't funny. know what I craved with Stella, but jalapeno Cheetos really bad yeah. with Ozzy. Mine was polar opposite and it, it kind of follows the myths too. What was it? With Jack... I wanted everything salty. My two main cravings with him were nacho cheese mm, yep. from Taco Bell <laughs> and steak. Yeah. I only wanted nacho cheese and steak. They say if you're wanting steak, you're low on iron. I probably was because <laughs> I would just give me steak, give me steak. Give I just steak, baby. wanted it. And at one point when we came here to visit Utah, my mom, <laughs> my mom said, are you eating a little too much steak? Are you worried? <laughs> Are you that? eating no, a little she, too much? She that? pointed that out That's to me because really I just funny. wanted steak. That's really funny. And then opposite with Sunny, I my ultimate craving was cupcakes. Oh yeah, you love to cup. Remember our just, egg cupcakes that we made? Oh yes, eggy cupcakes. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> we would make them at home, and then any chance I got to she buy a cupcake, I was cupcakes. eating a cupcake. You were loving them cupcakes. <laughs> Normally, you're a cookie girl. Yeah, I don't. And so it was yeah, funny. That it was you very interesting. Cupcake. I remember at my gender reveal, I made myself cupcakes. sick with the amount of cupcakes. The sweet tooth fairy. <laughs> those cupcakes are so good. So good. Oh my gosh. Anyway. Yeah. Those are, those are two opposites. Girl Wait, boy. What did I crave with Stella? Do you remember? I don't. I just remember you always having Subway. That was just your constant. Yeah. I honestly just love a sandwich. And the only sandwich place that we lived In by. Hawaii was Subway. Was Subway. Um, tips for postpartum moms. And um, did we have the postpartum depression Mm, this is a good one Mm -hmm. because we didn't really touch on after Mm -hmm. after birth uh yeah I would say I wasn't in heavy heavy postpartum depression but Mm -hmm. I definitely felt you had the blues I had the blues yeah for sure and super normal and a lot of that is just chalked up to your hormones or crazy you're not sleeping (laughs) yeah you shocker you just gave birth and (laughs) um Especially You're with Jack, Jack was just such a sad, um, he was colicky. And so you had fear. I was just this little ball of anxiety. Mm. I postpartum anxiety, maybe. Yes. And I, I for sure, I think I had that with both, both babies, 
but um the thing that helped me was having people around even though I in the inside I felt like I didn't want to see people Mm -hmm. I noticed that I actually liked interaction, even That's though in my heart of hearts, I did not want to see yeah, anyone. And it was the just introverted sad side and, of you wanted to just go yeah, in the bed. But I think um, also the thing that changed me was being outside, mm. just even for little brief moments, just which is hard sometimes when you live in a place like this and it's snowy and, yeah, and you're a winter baby. Yeah, I just think those two things helped me a lot for sure. And asking for help because that's really hard to ask for help, even though it takes a village to raise kids. Yes, and it does. especially in the newborn stage. Um, yeah, I'd say ask for help, get outside and do something that you still like to do, even mm -hmm. though it's so busy. Yeah. Finding. Yeah, for sure. I think I, I don't know if I fell into any of the categories specifically, but I definitely felt the blues after Aussie specifically, because it was such a big change. You go mm -hmm. from zero to one is, was harder for me than one to two for mm -hmm. sure. Because I was already a mom by the time I had Stella. So I it's agree. not like my world shifted. Um, it just, I had another baby. Mm -hmm. And so going from zero to one was difficult. And it was a month before I turned 25. And when I had Ozzy and I felt when I, when it came to my birthday a month later, a month after Ozzy was born, I was just sad because this is funny to think back on now because mm -hmm. I thought you are so old now <laughs> you're 25 <laughs> your life is over oh and you just had a baby you're a mom um and I I just felt this kind of overwhelming like your youth is over kind of and so I think that Wade and I had a little bit yeah. of blues, but for the most part, I think because and, I was and able. And Tanner was just gone a lot. Yeah, he was working was, full time. You were time. just home kind of, we would come over and see yeah. you, but you were just kind of stuck in your house. I remember yes. thinking like, I didn't we need leave. to get low out of the house. Yeah, I couldn't leave. Oh, that's true. <laughs> we oh would gosh. always invite you and try and get you to come places. And it's so unlike you to yeah. say no. That's how I felt very not myself. Sometimes I think you just need to force your friends. I yeah. kind of wish I had been. I didn't want to. I remember thinking. And I was so tired. Yes. <laughs> and, and I remember thinking, what's the line of I really want to get you out of that, but I don't want to pressure you to do something you really don't want to do. Yeah. But I think it would have been good for you if I it, just came over and just said, I'll help you with the baby. Yeah. I will help you get her in the car and we'll just go to the beach. And I really wish I had done that. Yeah. More, now but. that I think about it, it was a lot of me just like in our little house. It was a one bedroom um, trying to get her because in the first um, month and a half to two months, Ozzy slept terrible. She was up every hour breastfeeding for 40 minutes at a time so I just wasn't sleeping yeah and and then in the daytime she didn't really nap unless I was holding her so I couldn't really sleep and Tanner was gone all day yeah. working and I was just in this weird yeah sleep deprived yeah adjusting to becoming a mom yeah. and I think I was yeah yeah and <laughs> thinking like, back on that I is a little bit it was rough. A few of us girls trying to come over and be like, you sleep, we'll take the baby and you're just like no like yeah I, I think that's where it's like we need to normalize helping each other it's yes. so hard yeah just, I don't know I remember yeah. you being in a little dark cloud for but sure you came out of that pretty pretty quickly yeah after once that. Stella um once Ozzy sorry after two months she started sleeping a lot better and and oh the other hard part was that she screamed in her car seat so when I drove by mm -hmm. myself I like couldn't drive by myself or else yeah, she would scream she would back there yeah that's that hard was too. hard yeah so but you felt like you couldn't I go couldn't anywhere leave. it felt like because yeah she was gonna cry but um yeah, after that, it was after the two months mark. I felt like Which I started becoming Which is honestly pretty quick in, yeah. in retrospect compared to some, some moms That's that so are true. like their two-year-olds the waking up every yeah. two hours or whatever. I know. I feel so grateful that yeah. she was able to start yeah, sleeping. But still hard. Still so hard. And honestly, I am not the same person when I don't get sleep. And <laughs> I know. It's just, you kind of just have to push through. But. Yeah, you just figure it out. But it definitely was hard in the beginning. But yeah. So what would you recommend for someone that's going going through that, that or feels like that ask for help mm -hmm. yeah I think the biggest thing would be um it was hard too because a lot of my friends were going through the like we couldn't really help each other because everyone had a newborn yes um 
and we weren't by our parents or grandparents or whatever. And so, um, if you are just kind of in their own bubble and you feel like you need a little help, don't be afraid to ask for help because I'm sure the people around you are wanting to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that always so hard? I think it's so hard to, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well, (laughs) that feels like a sad note to end on. I know. Maybe do a fun one. Okay. Let me see. Oh, this one was a really sweet one. Okay. This one says, I'm a new L&D nurse, a labor and delivery nurse. How can I best support mothers in labor? This was such a nice question. That is so sweet. Well, just you asking, I feel like you're already going to be a good, good nurse. Yes. Um, what would one thing that you would say has been helpful for you? Just keeping a positive attitude. I think even if it's Things a stressful are... situation, um, I saw some nurses go into panic panic mode. And um, however the nurses are acting, because usually the mom does not really know more than the nurses. So if you see that your doctors and the people that are in charge of helping you are scared, I think that makes you scared so staying positive staying calm um that was huge being confident i love the nurses that not like in a cocky way of like you don't know anything to the mom because i do think mom's intuition outweighs sometimes what the nurses Mm -hmm. think but i think just being confident in your ability to help the mom and make her feel comfortable is huge and then um we weren't able to do this but i know that some of the nurses will come and take the baby for a little bit so that the mom can sleep. I think that's a huge, huge help. Oh my gosh, yes. Because you just gave birth, your body's exhausted. Just any kind of break Mm -hmm. is huge. We couldn't do that just because COVID restrictions, but Mm -hmm. there actually was a nurse that took took Jack for an hour, even though she wasn't supposed to. (laughs) That's Um, so nice. And I remember her. I remember her name. I still follow her on Instagram. Yeah. That made a huge deal for me, so. Yeah. Along the lines of Sarah when I had the nurse that would was really frazzled when things were going wrong in Ozzy's birth, it was so scary for me. And I kept asking her, am I going to have to get a C-section? Like what is, what's the plan? And she kept giving me, I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna have to see. And then my doctor came in and I, and then I got a new nurse that came in that was so confident and so calm and collect. And they both were just like, we're going to do this. You're going to give birth naturally. You're going to be okay. Ozzy's going to be okay. And they calmed me down so much yeah. just from their presence alone mm-hmm. and how confident they were that they could get Ozzy here safely. And mm-hmm. yeah, so just being a calming presence when things are, can be a little bit scary. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my other thing is I had a amazing nurse with Stella that came in and it was just Tanner and I for a while. And she was showing Tanner different like pressure points to help with um to push against when I was having bad contractions um she would train the husband yes she was straight up like a doula for me she was just in there telling me how to breathe she was giving me tips on different different things to do and it was so helpful and I was just like thank you it was like having a doula which was really nice yeah I think all of that You'll be good. Yeah. You'll be good. You'll be good. (laughs) Just care about the mom and care about the baby. Make them feel like they're not one out of the 20 patients that you have that day that's giving birth. Yeah. I think our hospital that we, or the birth center that we gave birth in in Hawaii was really good at making you feel feel special. special. This is your first experience. Very cared for. I think when nurses are cold and kind of shut you off and you're just another mom in there, if you can avoid making them feel like that, mm-hmm. you'll be you'll be yeah. perfect. Yep. Well, so. this was so fun to relive all that. We were so involved in each other's birth and pregnancy Pregnancies and, and everything. Maybe we'll be again the next time. I don't know. I know. I hope so. <laughs> Lo keeps trying to say that we need to be pregnant together. We have together. to be pregnant together. I'm sorry. Oh, man. You guys, here's the thing is I'm just not ready. And I feel like she could be ready soon. So I don't know. Who knows? Who knows, but I think we maybe have we'll to. overlap a teeny bit. I don't know. Ugh. We'll have to see. No, we have to do this. Thank you guys for all of the input and the questions. We'll this. probably talk about more. We have more things that we can talk about yes. t- that we didn't even touch on. Yes, we didn't even get to breastfeeding. So no, there. That's a whole other. That's a whole other spiel. Whole other story. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for yeah. watching this or listening. Yes, and our next episode is going to be all of your guys's 
juicy confessions. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited and scared at the I'm same time. I'm excited and I'm scared and we all got to strap in. So yeah, it'll but be fun. Thanks for watching and listening and all the support. We have actually had so many experiences recently of people coming up to us in public saying, I listen to your podcast and that's the first thing that people are saying. And for Nothing some reason that happier. compliment just like... <laughs> It is so awesome. It means the world. I can't believe people are listening. It just makes me so happy. Yeah. And the, <laughs> the girls that we talked to were telling us they were getting ready on the way to their date. Yeah. Listening to our podcast. And I love it. We just love you guys. Thank you for the support. And we'll love see you. you next time. We'll see you next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe onto yeah. our YouTube if you haven't. Yes. Don't forget to Every follow us on Spotify <laughs> or Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen. And uh, give us a little review if you like us. Yes, please. And please. Would, Hacker, Hacker yeah. Man still is hurting our reviews a little bit. So, yeah, so any good feedback would be awesome. Very much always. appreciated. We love you guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.